gently pull the needle up and through. Miss Hayward. Yes, Miss Markham? It is Miss Hayward, isn't it? Yes. Uh, then you are not married? No. Nor have you ever been? No. Then how is it that you are to ready me for a life which you yourself have quite roundly failed in? That is like having a riding instructor who has never sat in a saddle. Or a pirate that's never gutted a man. Hmm. I have never been to France, yet my French is more than passable. Ouch! Damn these needles. Miss Colburn. Do not give up. See what I have made, just for Miss Hayward. I do hope I have spelt spinster right. You see, it is not a word I am particularly familiar with, nor am I ever likely to be. I do believe it is time for luncheon. <laughs> Come along, Leo. The governess takes hers in the kitchen, of course, alone. But then again, I suppose you are used to that. Poor dear Miss Hayward. <laughs> Miss Markham's work, I assume? She is very adept. On the contrary. I see several drop stitches. You're not going to let her get away with that. I don't want to punish her, Mrs Wheatley. I want to understand her. Is it so hard to understand? She's 18 years old and not long orphaned. And Leonora lost her mother too. That was many years ago now. We don't dwell on it. Remember, girl, I have a shilling on you. <laughs> 